Hi guys, so it's Saturday the 28th of November, um, it's just gone half past 12 and I've just finished getting myself ready, having uh, come back earlier on from a very very long 16 or six, just over 16 mile run, uh, which in kilometres I think is about 26 and a half, uh, maybe a bit more, don't know. Um, anyway, it was a really good run, so training, just thought I'd give you a quick update on a couple of things. So first of all, um, training schedule is continuing to go very, very well. Um, I've got a mixture of different types of runs. Um, so I have probably three types of training runs. Uh, one is a mixed pace run where it is, it says what it, it is, what it, it does what it says on the tin, where I go uh, easy pace for five minutes, a tempo pace is about 50 to 60% of full capacity for another five minutes and then a fast run, which is two minutes. So that's either Monday or Tuesday or possibly Wednesday. And then on the other days, so Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll do hill repeats, um, which is running up a hill for a period of time, jogging back down, running back up again, um, which is quite, uh, quite difficult and um, apparently good for training for an ultra marathon. Um, yeah, so there's that, and then Friday is normally a standard sort of 10k run, and then Saturday's my long run, and the other thing that I do during the week is on a Thursday, which is a bit of skipping and conditioning usually with kettlebells. Um, in addition to that, every morning I'm doing ab exercises and other kind of resistant band, ex uh, resistant band work, um, lots of squats, um, lots of stretching in the evening, lots of foam rolling. So it's, yeah, it's manageable. It's okay. Obviously, going out for a long run on a Saturday is probably the hardest because I don't get to see guys like this. You want to say hello, Dylan? Why not? Hello. Good boy. Um, but obviously, the good thing of getting back early on a Saturday is that I get the, the rest of the weekend with, with all the kids and, and with Stacey. Um, other news, I've uh, borrowed a cookbook, a running cookbook from a friend, so trying out a few recipes and shakes. Um, nutrition something which I want to start focusing on maybe in the new year a little bit more. I am trying to get up to 30 kilometres in distance by the time we get to Christmas, which I looks like I'm almost there with anyway. Um, and then post Christmas and New Year, I will start doing some uh, long runs. And then as I'm probably ed after the beginning of the first quarter, maybe head over to the Chilterns to start doing some longer distance running um, in the actual trails. Um, been a bit frustrated with trail running recently because I haven't been able to go out as my footwear um, I, is non-existent. I have a big hole in one of my trainers, so I'm trying to get a replacement. I'm going for the Hocus Speed Go 4s. Um, is this boring you? Oi, you cheeky monkey. Um, so yeah, so Hocus Speed Go 4s, which I th I'm eyeing up for being the footwear for the race. For those who are into running, uh, will realise that there's quite a lot of, um, um, I don't know, uh, a lot of interest with uh, <laughs> a lot of interest with getting shoes right for big events. Yeah. Um, yeah. So so yeah, that's by way of update. Uh, work's been absolutely really busy, so apologies for not being able to do this um, recently. News on my dad is fairly um, non-existent, save for the fact that he's obviously not been out much like most of other people. Um, he's got a new recliner chair, which is good. And are you copying me? Yeah. You're copying me, and yeah, um, so that's that. So, um, I'm not sure how um, the other two are getting on with their training. I think Jamie's um, having a bit of a setback at the moment, so I'll touch base with him later. And Greg has been carrying a bit of an injury, so hopefully, he's recovered from that. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how they get on over the next couple of weeks, and I will check in with you guys soon. If there's anything that you guys wish to know about the training, about Alzheimer's. Um, feel free to drop me a line. Oh, the other good news is that Alzheimer's Society delivered um, two training t-shirts. So it gives me the ability to promote the charity a bit more whilst I'm running. So I'll be popping those on going forward. And uh, yeah, so as you all know, it's all um, in training and preparation for the ultra marathon 100 kilometers run uh, next May from London to Brighton. We're going to do it one run in one day. Um, all to raise awareness and funding for Alzheimer's Research UK. You can donate, uh, please donate if you haven't done so already. The Just Giving page is justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash easier said than run 123. What is it, Dylan? Justgiving.com forward slash fundraising. Fundraising. 
forward slash easier said than run one two three have a fantastic weekend everybody and i'll catch up with you guys soon take care now bye